Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. So in today's video, we are gonna review slash try out the Revlon Perfect Heat Jumbo 3 Barrel Waver. And this is what it looks like. I just got this off Amazon. So I'm super excited to try this out on my frizzy third day hair situation that I have going on. Um, yeah, I just did three overnights in a row. I haven't slept yet and I'm on my third cup of coffee. So we'll see how this goes. But anyway, I'm really excited and let's get into the video. Okay, so I've just turned it on and I just want to read you some things off of the box. By the way, this was $22 and some change. I do have Amazon Prime, so it was free shipping. So they have a lot of different ones to choose from. This one seemed to have decent reviews and it was at a lower cost. I didn't want to go with, I think they had one for like 14-ish dollars on there, but the reviews weren't that great. So I sort of wanted to go with something in the middle. So this is a three barrel jumbo waver styles large sections of hair fast, 30 heat settings for all hair types, on indicator, swivel cord for tangle free styling and then there is this locking like when you put the actual handle down you can lock it in place i think that's for like traveling you know that way it's not left open so this does the only thing i'm afraid of is because i have pretty short hair and i have this tank top on it's super hot in here anyway the only thing I'm afraid of is that, you know, this opens so wide of burning myself. So I think what I'll do is I'll section everything off and then we'll come back and I have, I kind of put it half up, half down. Honestly, I'm just going to be going to sleep, but I really want to try this out. So anyway, sorry, I'm really excited. Let's get into this. Okay. I'm scared. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. I love it. I have my Aussie Mega Hair Spray. Um, this is like the flexible hold. It's not my favorite hairspray in the world, but I think I will sort of use this as I go because like I said, I'm on third day hair. My hair's frizzy because I had it up. So I really just wanted to try this out. Now I think what I would like to do because I don't want them like, I want it sort of angled. So I'm going to, when I press, I'm going to angle it rather than holding it straight. I'm going to angle it just so that the waves kind of flow a little bit differently. Okay, so I'm going to take my Aussie Mega Hair Spray. This is the flexible hold and I'm going to just lightly spray this section and then we'll keep moving. I think it'll help to have a little bit of hairspray in it. Okay, so I just want to show you guys on this other side what I'm going to do is hold it again at an angle and it's hard to get really close to your ear. I just moved closer so that you guys could see a little better. See, it's hard, you can't move it closer to your neck to get it, the hair further down the barrel because you're going to burn your neck, so. It does work good, it's just on short hair, I think it's a little bit difficult. But it does leave a really nice wave. So I just sectioned off another layer and I hairsprayed it a little bit and now I'm just going to go through and do this layer. Oh my gosh, that's so cute! So I'm going to do the rest of this layer and then I think I'll just do the top as my last layer. I just sort of wanted to do this quickly for the first time. So when doing the back, I can't really angle it like I was in the front. So I just, I've been doing it just straight across. And honestly, I don't really care that much what the back of my hair looks like. As long as the front looks decent to me, like I'm, I'm happy. When I put the waver in, I'm sort of pushing up a little bit so that those curls set.
I'm taking pretty big sections once I get towards the top because I can sort of see more what I'm doing. So I just took a pretty big chunk. And remember, my hair is pretty frizzy right now. I'm on the third day of no wash and I did have it up last night for work. So this might work better if I don't have my hair so frizzy. Okay, so now I can kind of show you. So see how the barrel, where it dips down? I'm going to want to put my barrel right in that same spot. Sorry, my phone storage is full. So it cut off and I had to delete some stuff so I could fit this in here. But I just wanted to show that wherever you place the barrel in the next spot, you just want to make sure that you are placing it where the hair actually folds or waves. So I'll just show you. So you want to move it down and then wherever it waves, you just want to place it there. That way your waves aren't like offset and, you know, kind of messed up. I absolutely love this. I can't wait to use it more. I think it was a really good buy. I, I don't regret it at all. Um, be on the lookout for my next video because I'm going to do a full face, nothing over $10. Also, all the makeup that I'm going to use you can get on Ulta. So I'm super excited about that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give me a comment. Let me know what I could do next. I really want to do a either a monthly favorites or my Amazon favorites because I have a ton. So yeah, let me know. Subscribe to my channel. Watch me grow. See how I do, you know. And um, yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day. Bye.